A rude awakening for an Oak Cliff family when thieves broke into their house at about 4.30 this morning. Police say this is the fourth such incident to happen since Tuesday, and all of them in the same area. Today's happened in the 3300 block of Idaho, and that's where we find CBS 11's Robbie Owens this morning. Robbie. Well, Karen, this family is still terrified. I spoke with them just moments ago. You can see where the thieves this morning kicked in their door. The jam here still broken. They're waiting on someone to come right now to fix it. All this evidence of how the police have been here looking to find these men. I asked the family why they think they might have been targeted in this row of neat, tidy homes, and they point to this right here. They would normally have this metal gate closed, but last night they just forgot to lock it, and they think that may be what made this family a target early this morning. Police here were at the scene early this morning collecting evidence. The family tells me that the two men were Hispanic. They spoke Spanish to the family. They pointed a gun at a 16-year-old who had fallen asleep on the sofa here this morning, and they say these suspects took their time. They stole wallets, cell phones, a 60-inch TV, and again, they took their time terrorizing this family for some 20 minutes as they pointed the gun at the teenager and then the father, all this witnessed by a nine-year-old girl in this home. Uh, police, as you said at the scene, told one of our crew this morning that they believe this latest home invasion is connected to three that were committed in the area on Monday morning. Uh, we are still working on getting a more specific suspect de description, but family members here tell me that both were Hispanic, one was very short, one also had a tattoo on his neck. That particular detail, the tattoo on the neck, does fit the description that was reported and one of Mon one of Monday's home invasions. Uh, we are continuing to gather more information, including how neighbors on this South Oak Cliff Street are reacting to this crime, and we will be working that and bring it to you later this afternoon. Reporting live in South Oak Cliff, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.